Hello everyone. So I decided to make a Power Girl tag video. Uh, this will be my first tag video, and it's recently trending all over YouTube. Uh, I recently watched from Bob's Beauty and Selena Gomez, and they're really inspiring. So I thought maybe I would inspire something. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I thought Power Girl when I first thought of Power Girl. I thought of this. So the first question is, what does girl power mean to you? To me, girl power means being able to survive, being able to survive in life. For example, if you had a nasty breakup, most of the time people get caught, so caught up in it that they can't move on. They just stay in that particular zone and then they stay there. Don't want to move on. Stay there. Then they distrust people. They don't want to talk to anyone. They don't. They don't want to open their hearts up. And I think that's stupid. Surviving means being able to move on. Okay. Like you break up. Sure, you're sad. You're angry. You're confused. But I guess you just have to cry it out, laugh, laugh it out. You know, take all that negative energy inside. Just throw it in the air. And then, once all that craziness is out, you can learn how to move on. You can learn how to live. And maybe you can learn how to love someone else. Life is all about surviving. You know, not survival of the fittest, but just surviving life. And it also means having the inner strength for yourself. I mean, you can't always depend on other people. And girls, sure we talk. About our problems, in the day it means true heart, I guess. But in the end, it's all up to us. All the decisions, all the options we take, it all depends on us, not everyone else. So yeah, girl power means being able to survive and having the inner strength to go on. What is the best advice you can give to girls who want to be powerful? This my best advice is accepting who you are, but if you are unhappy with yourself, change it. You know, change for the better. Okay, I'll give you an example. I know I'm actually thin or yeah, considered thin, but I get insecure, and then I can't accept that all of the flab that's going out. So. In order to make myself feel better, I would exercise. I'm not athletic though, I'm very lazy. But I just do it because it makes me feel better. You know, instead of just lying in bed, whining, and while stuffing your face with more food, I do squats, I try to do push ups, I try to do sit ups and crunches. I would dance around my room like a crazy person. But yeah. In the end, I feel better because, you know, instead of whining that I'm a marshmallow now, I do something to actually burn all that fat, all that marshmallow fat. And I just call myself a marshmallow. So yeah, that's my advice. Accept who you are, and if you don't like it, change yourself in a way that you feel better about yourself. The worst thing you can do is actually change for someone else. I mean, that's bad. That you're not being who you really are. You're being someone who they want you to be, and don't do that. If they can't accept that, they don't deserve to be your friend or whatever. The next question is: If you could have any superpower, what would it be, and how would you do it? Well, I've always wanted time manipulation to go back to the past. To go into the future. I mean, there are some things I would like to change in the past, like the times where I made someone sad or angry or cry. But there are times when I just want to relive those moments where I was most happiest, especially when I'm feeling sad or down. I just lay back in my bed and remember those times. The next question is Show us your best. Girl power pose. I don't know, or I guess it'll be something like this. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I like between two seeds. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what beauty product makes you feel powerful? Honestly, I guess going natural is the best option. You know, natural beauty. I mean, if you go out all with all that, and then one day people will see you all like this, then be like, but honestly, the best beauty product that makes me feel confident is either mascara or my brown eyeliner. Sometimes I just use that. I mean, I don't bother putting foundation or lip gloss or anything. I just put on some mascara or eyeliner. I feel confident. I don't know. I guess it's because I also wear glasses when I go out because I can't see that far. Years. And they say if you wear glasses, you have to do something to make your eyes stand out from the frame. So yeah, that's my best product. Why is it important to have cow girls as role models? We girls need role models because we need someone to look up to. Sometimes we just need a little bit of inspiration to get us going. Like without role models, we have no one to look up to. We have no one to seek for guidance. We have no one to inspire us to reach our goals. The last question is, what young up-and-comer do you think is powerful and why? Honestly, I don't think a lot of you will like my answer. But here she is. This is, this is my power girl. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in so yeah, I um don't get me wrong. It's just that um, all her life on Disney again on TV, she was actually acting. The Miley we see on TV isn't really her. And once she ended her contract, well, once Hannah Montana was over, she was actually brave enough to be herself. I mean. Even though people still think of her as the Mighty Cyrus on TV, the Hannah Montana, she still kept going. And that's actually inspirational because she's brave enough to be herself, even though so many people are hating on her. And sure, sometimes what she does is not acceptable, not, not socially acceptable. But if you think about it, she is actually a confident young woman. I mean, sure, I bet all of you are thinking, why not Taylor Swift or something? If you think about it, Taylor Swift has had like more boyfriends than Miley Cyrus has. I mean, Miley has been engaged to Liam for like a couple of years, while in a year, Taylor Swift had at least three exes. So I guess Miley is a better person. I mean, sure. Taylor Swift seems more socially acceptable, but if you actually look, she, I don't think she's actually being herself. But Miley, she just. Ta da! I'm Miley! Yeah. So to me, that's actually powerful. You know, being confident in yourself. That's my. That's. That's my option. I don't know about yours. So that was my Power Girl video. If you don't. If you don't agree with what I said, maybe you could comment on something. I don't mind. In fact, why don't you guys make your own photo video? And maybe boys, you can do this too. You know. Why not? Maybe you could just say what you think Pargo means to you. Who's the Pargo who inspires you? Why not, right? So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed my view on Power Girl, and if you don't, okay, bye!